One more example here of calculating partial derivatives. We'll do first and second order. And a function h of xy is 3x squared, ln of xy squared. All our old rules still apply. So I'd like to use the notation h sub x, which means my partial of h with respect to x. Again, a lot of people will put h sub x of xy, and that's fine. I'm just uh, cutting out some steps just to save some time. It's all about efficiency. So I'm going to take the derivative of this guy with respect to x. Notice what I have with in terms of x is a product. So I will need product rule. So I'm going to hold this first part of the product constant, so 3x squared times the derivative of this part. Remember, right now, I am thinking of the y squared as a constant. So, we'll take the derivative of an ln, remember it's 1 over whatever you're taking the natural log of, so 1 over xy squared times the derivative of what you're taking the log of. So the derivative of x y squared with respect to x, remember y squared is a constant, so the derivative of this term here is y squared. Okay, you got to get really used to that with partial derivatives. Once you get used to that, it, they actually become pretty a uh, little, little bit easier. Now we're going to hold this part constant, ln of x y squared times the derivative of 3x squared, which is 6x. Let's see what kind of, uh, sim there's going to be a little bit of simplifying we can do here. For instance, this y squared and this y squared will cancel out. This x will cancel out with one of these x's. And we have 3x plus 6x ln of xy squared. We could actually take it a step further if we wanted and factor out the 3 x times 1 plus 2 ln of xy squared. When we go to find our second order partials, we want it to have it fairly simplified. Probably either one of these will be useful. Now let's find our first order with respect to y. So now it's no longer a product, or a product that requires product rule because we're thinking of x these x's as constants. So, the 3x squared will be in our derivative. Still doing derivative of a natural log. So it's 1 over xy squared. Now when we take the derivative of this, we're taking the derivative with respect to y. So the x is a constant, and so derivative of y squared is 2y. Now once again, we'll be able to do a little bit of canceling. And so we get, when all sudden said and done, excuse me, 6x squared over y. So there's our h sub y. Alright, let's find our second order partials, h sub x, x. Now again, probably either one of these is going to be fine to use for your second order partial. I'll do it from this one, because we're going to use the product rule again. So 3x, I leave that part alone, times the derivative of the second part. Derivative of 1 is 0. 2 times, now we're doing this one again with respect to x. So 1 over xy squared times the derivative of xy squared, which we saw before, is just y, y squared. Plus, now we're holding this part constant times the derivative of that part, so 1 plus 2 ln of xy squared times 3. And we've got our derivative. Let's see if we can clean it up a little bit. We can cancel out those y squareds. Once again, we can cancel out that x. Now that 3 there will distribute to the 2, giving us a 6, and to the 1, so that's 3 and because we canceled out these two x's, this is a 6. So we're going to have 9 plus 6 ln of xy squared. So it simplifies up pretty nice, even though it was a little bit ugly. Uh, h sub y, y. Now, we may want to do something to this before we take its derivative. Remember what we used to do when we had something over x or something over y? We'd rewrite it as 6x squared y to the negative 1. Remember why we do that, because we're going to use power rule, because this is the part we're taking the derivative of. This is a constant. 
So my 6x squared I already know is in there. Now I'm going to take the derivative of y to the negative 1, which is negative y to the negative 2. So I get negative 6x squared over y squared. Last but not least, let's take a look at our mixed partial, see how we did with everything. h of x, y. So let's see, what version of h of x would we like to use? Well, remember, in this version, what I like about this one, 3x is just a constant with respect to y, so it's just going to go away. And then this part is all I have to take the derivative of. So the 6x is just a constant. Then I have the 1 over xy squared times the derivative of xy squared. You got to pay attention to which function we're doing it with. We're doing it with respect to y. So that, remember, was x, because it's a constant, times the derivative of y squared, which is 2y. <coughs> so these x's cancel. We can cancel out one of our y's. And when all said and done, we're going to have 12x over y. Alright, let's make sure that our mixed partials are equal. Let's find h sub y x for this guy. Here's our h sub y. I'm going to do this with respect to x. Actually, we can do it right from here, huh? Remember, y is a constant. So basically, I'm just taking the derivative of 6x squared, which is 12x over y. Looks good. Checks out.